Talking about coastal erosion becoming a big problem on many of England's coastlines. Landslides, cliff collapses, they're becoming more and more common. So, in Dorset, the beautiful beach of West Bay, famous for its depiction in TV series Broadchurch, you might remember that, is no stranger to the problem. Francis Reed has this report. A narrow escape as an entire side of the Dorset coast caves in. This is West Bay, and a couple of miles away, the same thing has happened. It's dramatic, and if you're below, dangerous. On the ground, there are clues of what was once here, as the remnants of the collapse are washed away. This tiny community near Seatown Beach gets busy in the summer. It's a beauty spot for tourists and locals alike. And last month's landslide means people are being advised to be careful and not get too close to the cliffs. We never ever sit right underneath this black stuff because it's so unpredictable. I think you just have to look at the area to realise it could happen. There are warning signs, but Dorset Council says they often get washed or blown away and not everyone gets the message. Henrietta is visiting from the Netherlands. This is what we, what you saw on Facebook. The, the, when the coast scream, uh, the the Stop cliff, down. you're not worried. The, the, the cliff could uh, fall on you. I'm not afraid uh, uh, of, of that. It's also a fossil hunter's delight. There are a few bell mites in there, and there might be some ammonites in there. I'm not the sure. Marshall family from Gloucester are here for their summer holidays, but they're keeping their kids away from the cliffs, seeing bits dropping off all the time. Did you see that landslide as you were a few minutes ago? Uh, yeah, part of it, yeah. I thought it was going to be like fenced off so you couldn't go past it, but I guess there isn't anything like that. And that's partly because the coast is constantly changing. But this kind of landslide, while large, is neither unique nor unexpected. And it's not the only place it's happening either. Hemsby in Norfolk has lost metres of coastline this year, with homes having to be demolished. The British Geological Survey says extreme weather means we could see more of this, and it's working on plans to mitigate the risks for people. Here in Dorset, the cracks started appearing months ago, these pictures were taken back in January, and experts say the risk doesn't disappear even after a big landslide. Even this low cliff of loose material could collapse onto somebody and cause, you know, problems. So that's why Sam is a geologist specialising in this part of the UK's coast. In a sense, the Dorset coast is always falling apart because that's how coastlines fall, right? So they, the, the marine erosion from the sea, the storms and the rain are constantly washing stuff away. If we look at the trends, the things that cause landslides like this are rain, storms, and also dry periods that dry out the rocks as well. The advice here is stay away from cliff tops and don't linger at the bottom too long. Scientists say our coasts are, in fact, a wilderness and one that can be difficult to predict. Francis Reed, BBC News, Dorset. It's such a dramatic coastline down there, but as you heard it, you know, there are risks, there are risks, and it's changing all the time. And when you see that collapse, it, it's frightening. It brings it home. It's really frightening.